Have you ever wondered if you're getting the right amount of calcium? It's a question that a lot of people have. And in this video, we're going to explore what the right amount of calcium is and how and where you can get it. I'm Sarah. I'm a certified nutritional health coach, and I am also a yoga teacher who has done training that's specific for osteoporosis and yoga, and I'm also a BoneFit certified trainer. So osteoporosis is something that I am very interested in and in helping people to reduce their risk of fractures and of falls. And today we are going to talk about calcium and supplementation to supplement, to not supplement, and the potential options therein. So if you're an adult over 50, the right amount of calcium daily is 1200 milligrams. Now, if you're choosing to get your calcium by way of a supplement, it's important to consider that our bodies absorb calcium better when it's spread throughout the day. So if it's possible, read your supplement and look at how much calcium you're getting and see if you can find a supplement that doesn't have all 1200 milligrams in one go. See if you can find one that has less and then take it throughout the day to get it to be the right amount because our bodies absorb calcium better when it's spread throughout the day. Another thing that is important to mention when looking at calcium is that we have to have the right amount of vitamin D in our bodies to be able to process calcium properly in our bodies. So it's easy to check your vitamin D. There's a blood test that your doctor can do, and I would encourage everyone to have their vitamin D checked every year and to make sure that you're getting the right amount of vitamin D. Coming back into calcium, Getting too much calcium can be problematic. Now, something that's important to keep in mind with the problematic and the too much calcium is that this isn't a problem when we're eating it in foods. The problems that come from getting too much calcium are typically problems that come from having too much of a supplement. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't take a supplement. A supplement can be fine. It's important to make sure that it's kept within the right range. So that range, again, 1,200 milligrams per day spread in smaller amounts throughout the day. Okay, I'm gonna sound like a broken record here by the end of it, but it's worth repeating. So coming back in to talk about the problems that can arise from having too much calcium and the too much calcium being from a supplement, it can lead to having kidney stones. And then the other problem that can be quite serious from getting too much calcium is that it can lead into having heart problems. So too much calcium can actually work its way into the bloodstream and then it can contribute to plaque buildup in arteries and we don't want that. So it's important, double check, make sure that you are getting the right amount of calcium. That amount again, third time's the charm, right? 1200 milligrams per day and spread in smaller amounts that are less than 1200 milligrams throughout the day for better absorption. Yay, all right. Now let's take a minute and talk about foods and where to get calcium in foods. So probably we all think of, oh, calcium, dairy, right? It's in dairy and it is in dairy. And so you can get calcium from milk or yogurt or cheeses, but what if you can't do dairy? Where else can you find it? Not everyone can do dairy. Dairy's great if you can handle it and it's not so great if you can't. So. Coming back to other sources for calcium. Sardines with bones are actually a wonderful place to get calcium. And then let's take a moment and talk about vegetables. Here, the vegetables. I'm gonna get all excited talking about vegetables. <laughs> so looking at vegetables, um, there are, I remember having a conversation with my mom years ago, like when she was teaching me about food and we were talking about calcium, this was, long ago before I was a nutritional health coach, my mom was talking about how you had to have so much greens that you could never get enough calcium from greens. And what I've come to realize is that's not true. You can totally get the right amount of calcium from eating greens, but it depends which greens. So if you're eating spinach and chard, those are greens that have a reputation for having lots of calcium, 
but you can't get the calcium from those foods. They have another substance in them that's called oxalic acid. And the oxalic acid is bound up with the calcium. It makes it so that our bodies can't absorb the calcium that's in those particular foods. Now there's other nutritional value from eating spinach and chard. So by all means, keep eating the spinach and chard. But keep in mind that they are not good sources of calcium. So if you're trying to get calcium in your diet, it's a really good idea to know that it's not going to come from spinach or chard. So where can you get it? Yay, this is the exciting part. At least it is to me. I hope it is to you too. So the cabbage and broccoli family and also kale are wonderful places that the calcium is ready to absorb. It's quick and easy. You eat those foods, your body is getting calcium. So cabbage, Brussels sprouts, bok choy, broccoli, cauliflower, and kale. Kale is our friend. <laughs> kale is actually wonderful. So those are the sources that are readily available for greens to get calcium and to eat them so that you don't have any potential issue with having excess calcium too much in our bodies. When we eat it coming from foods, then we don't have the potential problems of having too much calcium in our bodies. But if you want to take calcium supplements, if that feels safer and a good thing, by all means, that can be a totally viable choice. Just make sure that it comes in the right amount. I'm gonna sneak it in the fourth time, right? So again, that right amount per day is 1,200 milligrams, and it's best if we can spread that throughout the day. And food sources are absolutely welcome. If you would like to check out potential recipes for um, food sources with calcium that are ready and easy to be absorbed in our bodies, go ahead and check out um, the Bone Blog. I'll have a link down below. And I hope that you have found this video helpful. Please respond, ask questions. I would like to provide as, as much help as I possibly can. Talk soon.